when we look into to space, it was very governmental driven. You have the space agencies, the government were the main um, provider. But then it has changed because it has to do with the business model, I would say. When we started supporting startup companies six years ago, trust me, we were the underdogs. At the moment, we're looking more, what is the next big thing? Where where are the, 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 the companies which are growing? Where are the acceleration? Where are the latest stage startups who build the future? Our job is to how we help the companies to grow further, how to connect them. And this is, uh, uh, the 10 million tickets are not their issues. It's the 300 million, 200 million tickets and beyond. And then how you make the factory, how you scale it. We work uh, with a new industry fields together, which look to space, automotive, energy. Uh, we're setting some up with the telco. There's three big pillars, I always saying. Uh, one is the navigation, uh, one is the telecommunication, and the third is the earth observation. These are the segments you have in space. Navigation is pretty much, uh, the, dominated by, by the government. Earth observation, uh, having a satellite imagery becomes a commodity. So the future will be rather in Amazon, Azure, telecommunication, that's the future and that will be 5G from, from the sky, bringing to connectivity. So I think the big, 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 big market will be the telecommunication in lower Earth orbit, bringing internet everywhere. And everybody has to bring their stuff Space up. Space is becoming the backbone of our digitalization. Therefore, it becomes a commodity and therefore things are changing. For the startups, it's the new market. They are quick, they are fast, they're innovative. Entrepreneurship is, is, is not a marathon, it's not a sprint, it's a decathlon because you have to do so many things together. What is the difference to uh, finance a, a solar park in Australia or maybe a power plant on the moon? It's just asset financing. What is the difference? It's a product. You, you, bank about, you have to make it bankable and then you sell it and you see if you have a market for it. And I do believe there's a market. And I take this as an example, uh, which, which we work on is Moonlight. So building the telecommunication navigation system for the moon. And one my, of my questions was to the engineers, can we not do a similar model and uh, like the, the cell phones and subsidize the terminals? And, and we, we, we make the money with the data. American business model is first growth and then revenue. Yeah? And then they buy the market. Yeah? So it goes like this. The rest of the world is first revenues and then growth. It's a very flat, flat line. And I think there's something between, I call it the Frank model. When I have a product and I have a partner, he's taking care of the business in that region. I get a share. I have not to worry. And I do the same with other regions. I can grow much quicker. I can share my resources and you build it on trust. My dream still is a collaboration of more the incubation centers of the startup and finding the right peers. I don't believe in uh, this is my and I told it all the best is cooperation. And, 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 and we are back now to the MEA region and I had the pleasure to be on LEAP in, in Riyadh a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the Minister of um, uh, the Telecommunication Industry and Technology is done in Saudi Arabia signing a deal uh, with Nuon and then OneWeb. Uh, I think it was 200 million last year. It's really closing the gap that we have internet. I believe uh, that it's really the decade of, of the MENA region and, and it's the decade of space. When we're looking to, to the kingdom uh, when, and, and the, the vision 2030, there is a lot of ambition, which is, it's the right start. Uh, and, uh, and, and the kingdom has shown with Neom uh, how you, you have a it. young generation, which is on the power, which is well-educated, international, super smart. Uh, we have some leaders. Um, I, I believe this is, 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 is a hot subject. You got the e-fuels, with the e-fuels, you got the cheap propulsion, uh, you're close to the equator. There's so many things you can think about. And connecting the last billions. Entrepreneurship renaissance really has started. We see it in the MENA region. Bader in Biak and, and is, uh, is doing MISC is doing that now in in, in, in Kinder. And I think this is the job what we have to do as a governmental organization, telling them where is the right uncle and aunt to go there. Being in the safe Middle East region is really something European can learn. Long term vision, not a quarter, not four years. So therefore, I, I expect a lot. I think it's a very hot region at the moment. And who is not seeing that? It's their fault. We're starting now with lower Earth orbit, and we 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 are all explorers, uh, and we are the curiosity drives us. So we will travel to the moon. We will go there when you have the vision, and that's super important. People will follow and invest and enable this vision, and we'll have it. If it's 2040, 50, does not matter.